हेलो नमस्ते दिस इज रोहिणी मेरगु टॉकिंग अबाउट इम्पैक्ट डायोड एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ इम्पैक्ट डायोड डायोड यू विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ इम्पैक्ट डायोड लिस्ट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इम्पैक्ट डायोड Before we move ahead let us talk about what are avalanche transit time diodes Avalanche transit time diode this the name itself consists of two terms avalanche and transit time so avalanche diodes are nothing but the oscillators which uses the impact carrier impact ionization that is the avalanche effect and the drift space that is a transit time effect for producing the negative resistance what is negative resistance generally by ohm's law as we say v is equal to ir as voltage increases current increases linearly but in negative resistance even if we increase the voltage the current is reduced so this part is called negative resistance where it is assumed that the device will be sourcing the energy instead of absorbing the energy so so in order we we make the device to work in the negative resistance so that it acts as a source so avalanche transit time diodes are designed in a such a way that they will work in the negative resistance region and they use the effect of voltage breakdown the avalanche effect as well as they use the effect of transit time there are types of uh, avalanche transit time diodes one is impact diode where well, is impact ionization avalanche transit time diode trapped diode trapped plasma avalanche triggered transit time diode buried barrier injected transit time diode let us look at first impact diode impact is impact ionization avalanche transit time diode it is a high power diode it is made up of silicon carbides with high breakdown fields its operating frequency is 3 to 100 gigahertz it is used in low power radar systems to alarms these generate high level of phase noise because of avalanche process so construction of the impact diode is like this it's nothing but a wafer semiconductor wafer it is generally of galenium arsenic silicon germanium indium phosphate these can be used for construction but here you can it is heavily doped p region on one side and heavily doped n region on the other side and in between there is a drift space and small avalanche region is shown and these diodes work in the avalanche region so that uh, it they are reverse biased so you can see that n is connected to positives of the supply p is connected to negative of the supply so these diodes work in reverse biased condition however galenium arsenic is preferred over the other wafers because of low noise behavior this is a construction of impact diode where you can see this is the wafer here which has uh, n p n structure here you can see it is a p p plus heavily doped and n plus heavily doped region and in between there is a drift space and this gold wire contact is taken out from here the leads are taken out and it is placed a uh, heat sink is there and this all is put in the ceramic housing let us look at the working of impact diode impact diode works on the principle of avalanche breakdown and transit time delay it operates on very high voltage gradient around 400 kilo volts per centimeter so when we provide such high reverse bias where it generates 400 kilo volts per centimeter then it produces avalanche current our normal diodes break down in the avalanche region but impact diodes are formed in such a way that by adjusting the doping concentration so that it will not break down rather it will produce avalanche current an action that causes the abrupt increase in the junction current in the reverse bias condition of the pn junction diode leading to junction breakdown which is called avalanche breakdown in reverse bias condition the width of the depletion region become extremely thick as we know 
there is a depletion formed in the reverse bias condition and in the reverse bias condition we are providing very high voltage high reverse bias so that very thick depletion region will be formed and when there is a reverse bias the minority carrier start moving across the junction or drifting across the junction and these charge carriers when provided with a high uh, gradient voltage gradient in such case large number of mobile charge carriers which with minority carriers are generated which moves with the higher velocity or greater velocity as they move along the junction this high velocity carriers collide with other atoms in the crystal and they generate electron hole pairs now this causes multiplication of charge carriers as they are colliding on the other other uh, minority carriers they are generating hole pairs they knock out the another charge carriers so such a process goes on multiplying and it is called as a multiplication of charge carriers thus moving the charge carriers generate high current inside the device and this is the avalanche condition and the current produces avalanche current and the process is called as impact ionization or avalanche the same i can explain here we have provided high reverse bias up to this dc and small amount of rf when it is applied see uh, what happens is the due to impact ionization the current pulse or impact uh, avalanche pulse avalanche current pulse will be produced inside the wafer but this pulse will not appear at the point when the voltage is positive this pulse will appear at a point when the voltage is zero because avalanche is a multiplication process and it is not instantaneous the process takes time as a current pulse is maximum at the junction occurs at the instant when the rf voltage across the diode is zero or negative okay fine so we get 90 degree phase shift between voltage and current but what we want to achieve we want to achieve negative resistance that is 180 degree phase shift between voltage and current so with avalanche process we have obtained 90 degree phase shift so another 90 degree phase shift that we expect to work the impact diode in the negative resistance region can be obtained by using the drift space by adjusting the drift space of the impact diode so the current pulse is situated at the junction and it will not stay there and the current pulse will move towards the cathode the drift velocity dependent on the presence of the high dc field the time taken by the current pulse to reach the cathode the time taken by the current pulse to reach the cathode depends on the velocity and the thickness of the highly doped n plus layer the thickness of drift region is selected such that the time taken for the current pulse to arrive at cathode corresponds to further uh, will provide another 90 degree phase shift so total we get 180 degree phase shift between the voltage and current voltage is negative maximum current is positive maximum let us look at the advantages and disadvantages of impact diode advantages it provides high operating range it shows compactness in size very small size impact diodes are very economical compared to others they are provides reliable operation at high temperature the disadvantages the rate of generation of electron hole pairs is in the avalanche region causes the generation of high noise because avalanche is a noisy process so the device is noisy it offers low tuning range tuning range is less it offers high sensitivity to different operating conditions let us look at the applications of impact diode impact diode finds applications in microwave oscillators in parametric amplifiers and microwave generators in intruder alarm systems as well as impact diodes are used in telecommunication transmitters and receivers these are the references used for preparing this video Thank you.